so now now it is looking bomb hey guys welcome back i am about to do my version of the clean girl makeup tutorial routine I know you guys have seen this floating around all over YouTube. If you haven't, it is like, I think it's kind of like the soft glam look. It's very minimal, so it's not like a full face of makeup, but you still have on makeup, but it's very light, airy, girly, flirty, and fresh. So that's my version of it that's what i'm about to do today and i'm gonna be using a few new products from charlotte tilbury and thank you so much to the team over at charlotte tilbury for sponsoring today's video so they expanded their pillow talk collection and i have a few products from the collection that i want to share with you guys i'm going to show you guys swatches all of that and we're also going to be applying it on the face so um i'm gonna go ahead and just start out with doing my brows because uh y'all know i do the brows first I need to put something on my lips because they are so, so dry. And I'll zoom you guys in once we get to the actual makeup application. But yeah, they expanded the Pillow Talk collection. I'm gonna go ahead and put this on the face. This is the Magic Cream from Charlotte Tilbury. I ran out of this and I had to get me another one. So we're just going to use this as my moisturizer. Um, and also my hands, girl, my hands are so dry. So I have to put something on there as well. And I actually just, got their what is it the perfect skin no beautiful skin foundation and i actually want to use that today too so and some of you guys have been um and some of you have been asking me to do a review on it so we are about to use it as well um all right let me do my brows y'all know this is the very 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 first thing i do so gonna do this really quick I'm using the Anastasia Brow Wiz in the shade dark brown and then I'm just cleaning it up with the NARS Cosmetics soft matte concealer all right I'm done with the brows I want to show you really quickly a few of the new products from the pillow talk collection so we have the pillow talk dreams luxury eyeshadow palette and it has four different shades in it so you have a mixture of mattes and shimmers for all of you who love highlighting they have two new highlighters this is uh, it's called the Pillow Talk Multi Glow Beautifying All Over Glow Highlighter in the shade Romance Light. And then this other one is in the shade Dream Light. Let's go ahead and put the foundation on. I'm not going to put too much on because I really want this to be as light as possible. But yeah, this is the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Foundation. And I got the shade 14 Neutral. This is how she looks. And she has a pump. So I'm gonna squirt just a little bit of this out. So that's two pumps right there. Probably won't use all of this because I don't wanna use a lot. I'm gonna take my sponge, get about that much, and then we are, let me zoom you guys in. All right, let's apply it. It's definitely giving me a really pretty natural finish, which is what I'm going for. You know, that skin like your skin, but better look. And that is definitely what this is giving. All right, you guys, so I still have a little left over and I honestly wanna just keep it as like this. I don't wanna put on too much, but this finish is beautiful. Like it looks like I just have on a moisturizer on my face i mean it did cover up a few of my imperfections but i can still see my skin peeking through which is what i'm going for i also have a concealer from charlotte tilbury that i recently picked up it's called the magic away liquid concealer and this is in the shade um tan 11 11 tan and this is how it looks you can see the color right there and it comes with like a little sponge on top so you just twist it up I'm just gonna put it under my eyes kind of tap it in like this and then I'll just kind of blend it out with my sponge and then on the chin forehead nose the color looks pretty good let's blend it out I 
All right, so now it's time to set the face. We are gonna take my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder. This one is not the one I wanna use. Okay, I wanna use the shade number three, which is dark. And I'm gonna take the same sponge that I was just using with my concealer, and I'm just gonna take it in the powder like this. Boom, boom, boom. And then set that concealer with it. All right, this is how the skin is skinning right now. <laughs> so I am actually gonna set the rest of my face. I'm gonna stick to the same powder, just in a different shade, which is a darker one, um, number four, deep. And I'm gonna put this around the perimeter of my face to set that um, foundation that we applied earlier. And this is why I don't have to put on too much foundation because I feel like once you put on your powders, it like it kind of finishes it, you know? So and you can see that this is covering up the rest of my imperfections on the face. So I did not need a lot of foundation. Okay, so now, now it is looking bomb. Now let's take one of my favorite, favorite, favorite products from Charlotte Tilbury, which is their bronzer. I use a shade deep and I'm going to brush this around the perimeter of my face. I'm so used to using liquid, not liquid, but um, why am I saying liquid? cream bronzers because the way I use my cream bronzers is I take the brush and just stipple it into the skin so I'm doing it with this bronzer too I usually just blend it like that but it's something about stippling the product into the skin which just does it for me so I'm doing the same thing with this I'm gonna take a little bit of my Anastasia cream bronzer to um, kind of snatch my nose a little bit, but not like too much because I want this to look really soft and as natural as possible, but still giving me definition, you know? So we're almost done. The skin looks really soft and natural. I'm not putting on any blush. A little bit of eyeshadow though so we're gonna take the luxury palette from Charlotte Tilbury and I want to dip into the mattes in here y'all know mattes are my thing so come on we're gonna go ahead and dip into so you have two of the mattes right here and then these right here are shimmers I'm gonna swatch all of the shades and I like how buttery smooth their eyeshadows are oh my gosh love these mattes look how pretty they are Oh my gosh, y'all. Yes. <laughs> love, love, love. And then the two shimmers. These will make great um, toppers if you're wanting like a really pretty shimmery eye. I'm going to put one right. Oh, y'all, look how freaking buttery these swatch. So pretty. Gorgeous, y'all. So pretty. Let's go in with this color right here and let's just place it all over the lid. Ooh, this is cute. And I'm not going to put a lot because I want it to look really soft and like, you know, barely there. But you can definitely build it up if you want so you can get more color payoff. So I'm going to lightly tap my brush into this shade right up under it and put it on the corner of my lid just to give me a little definition. And then I'm going to kind of drag it in my crease as well. But not all over, not, but not all the way to the corner. I'm just keeping it right here on the outer corner and just kind of making a C shape just like that. You. Fixing the brows. All right, so the eyes are 
almost done. I'm just gonna put on mascara. I'm not putting on any lashes or any eyeliner. We are just gonna go ahead and take this Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Push Up Lashes Mascara. I love this one, y'all. It doesn't get clumpy either, and it's just easy to stroke these really tiny lashes of mine. <laughs> we are done with the eyes. So simple, and I love it. Super cute, right? Um, okay, let's do the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat in the shade Foxy Brown, which is my holy grail lip liner, you guys. If you don't know, now you know. This is the best, 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 best natural soft brown liner. Let me put a little swatch right. Ooh, I need to go sharpen it, y'all. <laughs> I need to go sharpen it. But this is what it looks like. And, um... Maybe I can use this a little bit because I really don't want to get up to go find a pencil sharpener. Yeah, this will work. I'm just going to put this all over my lips. And then I'm going to take the Charlotte Tilbury Matte Revolution Luminous Modern Matte Long Lasting Lipstick. This is actually my first time using this color. Let me see. It's in the shade Pillow Talk. And I'm going to put a little bit, like when I say a little bit, I mean a little bit. But let me swatch it for y'all. I'm going to put the smallest amount. Look at that. Cute pinky color. So I'm going to put a very small amount in the center of my lips. Like that. And then I'm going to blot my lips together. Because this kind of mimics my natural lip color because my lips are pigmented around the edges and then the center is pink so this is exactly what my lips look like but better so yeah um we're done i'm gonna spray my face with my tatcha luminous blue mist to give me that glow back into the skin all right so this completes my clean girl look hope you guys enjoyed i like how natural it looks like this is the perfect everyday makeup look. I just live for the natural look, you know? It just looks so good. But that is it, you guys. That is all that I have for today's video. If you tried out anything from Charlotte Tilbury, what are your favorite products? Cause I wanna know. So let me know down below in the comments and I will have all the products that I've mentioned in today's video from Charlotte Tilbury linked down below. Thank you again so much to the team over at Charlotte Tilbury for sponsoring today's video. If you guys enjoyed today's video, give me a huge thumbs up. Make sure you are subscribed if you're not subscribed already and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.